Patch 14 breathes some new life into the kickback. In my old kickback video, I asked for tighter spread. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tighter spread. We also have a higher minimum pellet count for the majority of enemies. With the right blessing, I can consistently drop a sniper out to 27 meters. I have tested every blessing this thing has. I'm here to dispel some myths I've been hearing and provide you everything you will need to stretch this bad boy to the max. Let's get into it. I use the kickback to kill specials, ranged elites, and packs of shooters. I also use it to knock over crushers and bulwarks. The Sycanium shows me that I can knock over a bulwark by hitting its shield, but I have yet to do that in game. I can knock them over when shooting at them from the side and back, however. I also use it to control hordes from a distance. If I'm engaged in fighting something and need to assist another area in horde clearing, the kickback can certainly do it. It's also great for cleaning up nonsense behind you while progressing further into the mission. Kickback is much more flexible than it used to be. Pierce. Evidently, some folks are using the kickback as a melee weapon in place of a real melee weapon. Well, that's fine, but you can only damage two targets at a time. You can pick up Pierce, a level two only talent, if you want to ignore some hit mass. It lets you hit a few more targets that you would normally be able to, but you still can't damage them. Therefore, they can't bleed. If you didn't know, special attacks from the ranged weapons from the Ogren count as heavy attacks. Expansive works, and with the way I play, I am consistently triggering this. I run it. Punishing Fire still has its several enemies language, but that number is still three. This is problematic because of hit mass. If you hit a Scab Mauler, Crusher, or Scab Rager in positions one or two in your swing, you will not proc Punishing Fire. I still think this should be one or more enemies. Currently the requirements for this are just too particular for my taste. Terrifying Barrage, as before, is about as effective at suppression as the business end of my boomstick. That's about it. There are much better blessings out there. Inspiring Barrage. It works. Take it if you want it. I think this is much better suited for automatic weapons like the Stubbers or to a lesser degree the Rippers. Run and Gun still allows you to fire while sprinting. Unfortunately, it also still requires that you stop sprinting to reload. I understand this for other weapons, but for this single shot blunderbuss, I think it needs to behave differently. I had heard that it also provides plus 10% close range damage. That isn't true. My guess is that some pellets are missing when they're further away. Run and Gun lets you sprint while firing your one round. That is all it does. Blaze Away is a good blessing and can certainly come in handy when you're having to mag dump. It still has the issue where if you're using braced fire, it will perpetually have one stack of Blaze Away. It can come really close to hitting a one-shot breakpoint for muties, plus 25% extra damage to Maniac should tip it over the edge, depending on your damage and stopping power modifiers. It does take you five or six rounds of spamming left click to get there though. It isn't that ammo efficient if you're looking to down a group of muties. If you're running Blaze Away, the ammo stash talent is going to be key. Fully stacked surgical with good rolls in damage and stopping power while having reloaded and ready proct will give you a broadside one shot to muties within near distance. I'm a big fan of surgical. Surgical also allows me to more consistently kill ranged enemies such as snipers. Fully charged rank four surgical takes two seconds in braced fire to get a 100% critical hit chance. Another thing I like about surgical is that it always works when in braced fire. Every one-fifth of a second that goes by, you get 10% crit chance. Full bore fares a bit better than it did in the past. I can get it to proc on a broadside hit against a muti at 8 meters consistently in the Sycanium. Like barely over 7 meters kind of 8 meters, not just under 9 meters kind of 8 meters. I haven't tested it in game where I'd imagine it would be much more difficult to get to proc. Against a Dreg Rager, it's about four meters, most of the time, when they're standing still, and they face me. Full bore can get you to that one-shot capability against muties if you can consistently trigger it and you don't want to take reloaded and ready. To consistently proc full bore against human-sized targets, you'll need to be pretty much point-blank. That happens sometimes, 
I don't want a blessing where that is the requirement. Still a lukewarm blessing to me. The modifiers, in order of importance, are damage, then stopping power because of the maniac damage. Third is ranged, as it, like stopping power, provides damage percentages, so this is a close third. Fourth is reload speed, and fifth is mobility. There is no ammo modifier, you will always have 47 rounds. Maniac damage is a must on the kickback. Adding plus specials damage here will more consistently allow you to hit a one-shot breakpoint for muties when most of your pellets go in the weak spot. This will also allow you to more consistently get those ranged special kills. There is a talent in the talent tree that can remove the plus specials damage perk from being needed, at least for my kickback. I personally couple plus maniac damage with plus 10% reload speed. When compared to the talent tree, that's worth two talent points. Reloading, just a little bit faster, helps when there are waves of specials and elites bearing down on the group. For talents, obviously range damage is going to provide a nice boost to your 1600 plus damage. However, one no-brainer pick is reloaded and ready, plus 12% damage for 6 seconds after reloading. If you're dumping rounds down range, this will always be on. When you combine this with fully stacked surgical or blaze away, you can one-shot mutants to the back, as long as your damage and stopping power modifiers are rolled well. There are two plus 5% range damage nodes, but unless you're going into a gun lugger build, these will eat up your talent points quickly to pick them up. Pacemaker, hitting five or more enemies with a single attack grants plus 25% reload speed for five seconds. It works on ranged attacks only. Having plus 10% reload speed on the kickback, plus 5% from one of the talent nodes, plus the 25% for hitting five plus enemies with your ranged weapon is nice, but it seems like overkill. Point Blank Barrage on the kickback is pretty fun. This is the fastest horde clearing potential from a ranged weapon that I've seen. If you want to treat your kickback like a juiced up purgation flamer, this will absolutely do it. If this is what you want to go with, Blaze Away is a must pick. Let me put it this way. The kickback is a powerful weapon and can easily slip into any setup as a nice sidearm when you have a melee weapon that deals with armor well. There are good blessings on the kickback. However, if you had a run and gun blaster with terrifying barrage with plus maniac damage and reload speed, or maniac damage and specials damage, you'd still have a good kickback because the kickback wrecks. 